It is nine in the morning and already I'm having a bad day. No, you know what? I'm not gonna claim it as a bad day. I'm not gonna do that to myself. I got my coffee. Just dropped off my husband at work, my twins at middle school. And I know when I get upstairs, my five-year-old's gonna be awake. Cause now I can't go back to bed. My hair's purple. I did not do my hair this morning. Got up at seven, doing some clothes. Left the goddamn house. And here we are. And it's already hot. I know I'm breathing like Santa Claus on Christmas Eve, but Jesus, it's so hot. I need to go back to the gym. And do you know what? You know what? Four by four, by three, four, 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 Bunch of creepies. Hmm? Oh, you you creepy. Good morning, Kai. Good morning. How are you feeling? I feel okay. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Did you sleep enough? Mm-hmm. Did you sleep well? No mm -hmm. bad dreams? Yes. And I had an hour long good dream. You had a what? An hour long good dream. An hour long? Mm-hmm. About what? I don't remember what it was. And you now, got a little scratch on your face. I know. Are your nails too long? Mm -hmm. Mommy need to cut your nails? They're a little long. They're a little long? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll cut them. Well, I love Minecraft. I'm recording you for my vlog. Is that okay? Mm, yes. Mouth full of banana. My hair looks like a wig. You can't even see my part. I mean, there's anything wrong with it. I do own wigs. But I don't own wigs that look like my actual hair. I own wigs that are colors that I don't bother with this. I think it goes like that. Like this? Mm hmm. Okay, I don't want to just do it with standing. I don't want to touch my eye. Or did it go the other way? Maybe I should look up a picture. It'd be great if I could peel this. Okay, okay. So I was wearing it right, Kai. See, you see the picture? Okay, okay, okay. I'll make sure. Because skin is a gift. This is not um, sponsored by anybody. It's like some goo. Ew. Goo, ew. Okay, am I wearing this right? Tell me model on the damn screen. Am I wearing this skin? Follow up with usual skincare regimen. For external use only, do not eat or put in butt. So this is gonna help with my, like my eye bags, especially lately, cause I haven't been sleeping enough with the kids going back to school and everything. Okay, Kai, do you want me to make you something else? Are you sure? Can you even tell my hair is purple? Because purple is a way of life. Did it! Yay! Yay! See, maybe I should have braided more here. But I could do this. Screw it. 
I need to do my eyebrows. I was trying to let them grow in a little bit more because there's like these little empty spots here and there. But I'm trying to let them grow in a little bit and then I'm going to go get them threaded. I look so much like my grandmother. You guys have no idea. Like, I see it. She's been gone since 2000. And I can still picture her face when I close my eyes. And um, plus I have pictures of her, obviously. But I look so much like her. Like the older I get, the more I look like my grandmother. Not my mother, but my, my grandmother. A very round Native American face and the little ski slope nose, as my friends used to say. Then my dad's big bottom lip. And I don't know why I have 20,000 dimples. My mom does not have dimples. My kids got my dimples. My kids got my eyes too. And my little ski slope nose. My hair looks messy. Where are you going, Kai Kai? Same day. Um, it's like, it's 11.54. Sometimes I have a habit of not prioritizing myself and what I need to be okay. And I know this this whole culture of like self care and I rarely do these things. And since my kids have been back in school, it's been, I've just been way more busy than I usually am. And sleeping even less than I usually do. And I feel like it's kind of taking its toll on me. And then there are times where my husband works really late and I'm just kind of dealing with the kids. And having three teenagers and a toddler is not as much fun as you would think it is. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm tired and it's harder to deal with your emotions when you're tired. And I'm just like, I'm both sleepy, but also I just feel emotionally drained. I feel, I feel like I'm simultaneously not doing enough and also not doing and also doing too much. Let me rephrase that. I feel like I'm simultaneously not doing enough and doing too much. And, you know, all of life is about finding a balance and trying to find those little sparks of light here and there, the things that make it all worth it. You know how some people will I don't know, go out dancing on Saturday night because their work week is hectic and tiring. So it's like, I'm gonna rest up and go out with my friends on Saturday. Or people who work around the clock, who then go and take these long vacations in like Hawaii or the, the, the I don't know, um, Paris or whatever, just to have that spark of light and I'm like, What's my little spark of light? What do I do to unwind? What do I do when everything feels like it's too much? And literally right now I'm feeling like it's just too much. Sometimes, sometimes I think I'm too sensitive for this world. I remember reading a quote that Winona Ryder said that years ago that she feels like she's too sensitive to this world or this world and maybe it's an empath thing maybe it's a mental health thing maybe it's all of the above um i've been through a lot in my life as both a child and an adult and um i tell myself that i tell myself that i'm strong because i've been through so much but there are times where you just want to, like, say, fuck all this. 
and just like throwing a white flag, you know, can I get a timeout? Can I put myself on timeout? Can I just have 20 minutes? Can I just have an hour to myself to just reboot, re-energize? Cause right now I feel like my battery is on like 4%. And I still have to go out into 105 degree weather and pick up the girls from middle school. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna lay down in my comfy king size bed by myself. I'm gonna stretch out and I'm gonna put the blanket over my face with the fan pointed at me and snooze off to dreamy land and take one of them stretchy, snoozy, drooly, deep sleeps where you start dreaming about blue people and aliens invading and post-apocalyptic zombie scenarios. You know, like all of us dream.